What's up guys, welcome to today's video. My name is George and I'm coming at you from beautiful West Texas. Today we've got a beautiful, <clears throat> excuse me, a beautiful, beautiful Gibson Les Paul, so Les Paul Modern. Nice back there. Um, wanna talk to you a bit about this guitar. <clears throat> Real quick, before I do, usual, like, subscribe, uh, check out our buddies, zounds.com. They sent this this beauty over to me, and, uh, you know, check it out. And uh, to show you, to you guys, so check out zounds.com. Huge thanks. Without them, without them, wouldn't be possible. Anyways, um, let's talk some Les Pauls, so you guys know... I play quite a bit of Les Pauls. I have seven in my personal collection and an ES-335 sitting back there. And what I really, really like to do is talk to you about the feel of the guitar. Um, and again, my philosophy with that is that YouTube can make any guitar sound freaking awesome. You can pretty much now take a really cheap guitar and almost make it sound as good as a really great one with the amps the effects um i mean you name it even just the plugins so you're going to be hearing me plug straight into my computer thanks to neural dsp i'm using the mesa boogie mark ii suite it is awesome super awesome wow but um anyways you can make any guitar sound great nowadays. But what you can't tell is the feel of the guitar, right? And I, I play a lot of Les Pauls. I do a lot of gigs. Um, and so each Les Paul does feel different. And um, I try to give you that honest insight, who this guitar is for, what it costs currently. This is December twenty. 23 so of course you know could change but first off uh i like to start at the top here we got the typical gibson what's different about this one is the locking tuners man that that is cool i think they look make it look really good they have like the classic shape of the gibson tuners but with that modern look and modern um modern features so i really like that i think i think it's a really cool addition to a les paul modern um uh, everything feels really good the neck is like this slimmer 60 well not slimmer than a 60s i'd say it's it's pretty much like 60s style neck uh it's a slim one it's not that baseball bat 50s um super cool it is gloss it's like this light gloss so it's not it's not too bad. Um, I've got uh, I've got a couple other guitars that have gloss necks. I prefer them not. I prefer them satin. Um, but this one actually isn't bad. I I like the feel of it. It is thin. It feels like a nice, quick neck. The action is super playable. The fretwork is immaculate, and that's something that I actually got to give it to Gibson. Uh, their fretwork is really remarkable. When I get, say, uh, cheaper guitars, um, even like especially like Epiphones, uh, they're great guitars, but their frets are different. I think that's one thing that Gibson puts that little bit of attention, and why you pay that little bit of extra, you know, extra uh, buck for are the fret is the frets and. They feel great. They make a really big difference in my opinion. You know, have you ever played a guitar where the frets are like, just like not sanded down correctly? They still have like a little bit of scratchiness to them when you vibrato. Uh, sometimes they stick out, a, you know, just a hair even. And it's just enough to bother you. <clears throat> that's how I see it. Or at least that, that's my opinion on it. But these frets are just immaculate as well as any other Gibson that I have here. <coughs> um, let's move our way down to the body. We've got, uh, I, I believe, Burst Bucker Pros. Uh, I think I looked up the specs for a little bit. 
um, as long as it plays good, it feels good. Um, I'm I'm really happy with it. But um, yeah, these I believe are Burst Bucker Pros. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure you will. We've got uh, Pick Guard here, which is fine. Don't, doesn't bother me. Something a little different though is this curve right here on the bottom of the neck on that neck joint man that feels good that i don't know what it is man but it, it feels good that curve <clears throat> is it a game changer not really but it's cool it's cool you know um after that you know typical gloss body the palum blue looks superb on it now you'll notice here uh the sorry the uh the knobs I was a, a dummy and I broke one of the knobs. So I just put this other one that I had laying around. It looks very similar to it. Uh, the numbers are black instead of white. I'm sure I'm sure I'll fix that later. But um, overall, it's a, it's a pretty cool guitar. I'd say I'd, I'd compare this to say like a Les Paul standard with a little bit modern features to it. Uh, I'm, and I mean very little bit of modern features. The It's supposed to be ultra weight relief. You know, it's still, it still feels, you know, pretty heavy. I've had really light Les Pauls before. And I don't like them. I, I, I don't like the really light Les Pauls. I actually like them heavy. But it makes sense when you're gigging. And you know what? I'm, I'm really feeling it after this last gig. Uh, the lighter guitars are kind of kind of nicer on the on the back and overall endurance so um but this one has a nice weight to it i believe it's somewhere in the realm of like seven pounds seven and a half pounds so it's one of the lighter less pauls not too light uh definitely not one of the heavy ones but it's it's not light enough to where I'm, i'd see it as a toy we'll put it that way um overall i mean i think uh what could have been cool on this guitar oh before that uh, we've got push pull um, volume, so we've got single coils, you know, single coil tap. We've got um, a phase, which is really cool. Now that that's really it, it essentially literally turns your guitar into a greeny kind of sounding guitar. So I think that's really cool. And then you've also got a bypass. Okay, I uh, I never really got the idea of the bypass, but it's there. You know, um, I'm, I don't really use all that, all those features. Um, maybe the greeny feature would be kind of cool and I'd use, but for the most part, um, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty vanilla with this man. You know, I, I'm just, I, I like plugging into, into a mess of boogie and just ripping like that's just me. But if you like the extra features, that's awesome. Uh, the Gibson classic, um, has these features as well they're the exact same and uh, my classic is just my absolute baby it's that black one uh, if you haven't man check that guitar out that's to me that's like the quintessential les paul that you can buy nowadays but anyways um i kind of want to answer some stuff here um well actually before that i never have a script guys so you know i, I kind of dabble a little bit what I, what I do want to say, though, is I wish they would have added maybe like some locking, um, what do you call these, strap locks. That, that, would have been, that would have been a little bit cool. Made it a little bit more modern. Um, the pickups are, are cool. They're, they're modern sounding. I like, I like this stuff. Maybe like, maybe a locking input jack. I don't know. Something, something to make it really stand out in terms of feature set. You know, because... The two features that we have that are that are more modern are the locking tuners on the Les Paul, and then you know this this sort of neck neck curve in. Um, other than that, everything has I've seen it in other Les Pauls, <clears throat> um, but overall, guys, it's a really really cool one. Um, it goes for I believe three thousand USD which is not cheap not a cheap guitar at all um you know so if you're look it i would say like as your first les paul 
this probably isn't it. Like, if you're looking to buy your first Les Paul uh, and you want that Les Paul genuine, authentic feel, um, don't don't get this one. Get get a standard or get a classic. I would say get a classic. They're cheaper, and man, that guitar is just solid. I can't say enough good things about it. This one is for maybe like the collector or maybe someone who really likes Les Pauls, has quite a bit, and wants something slightly different. And that's where I think I really like it because I already have a few Les Pauls and getting new Les Pauls, um, it's just not, you know, I, I have enough already. And I'm not trying to sound arrogant or, or anything like that, but I, I, have, I have a few Les Pauls. And having this one now, or not having, but using this one, it's cool because it has some Les Paul mixed with some modern stuff to it. So that's pretty cool. Um, without further ado, let's let's play it just a little bit. I know, I know we got to give something there. Um, and like I said, any guitar could be made to sound this way and sound really good or really bad. So uh, let's try this out. Here's some clean tones. We'll dabble with some chords here. Here's a bridge. not bad let's give it some gain all right here's the gain channel Let's play a little bit of lead stuff. I just uh, umped the gain just a little bit, added some reverb. So guys, I want to interrupt you here. I filmed the whole video and I forgot to talk about something very important, the case. I like to always show to my audience what it comes with. And so I'm holding it here awkwardly. Has the Gibson logo. It's this cool black case, man. Gibson knows how to make some cases, man. I'll tell you that. So let, let's uh, take out this bad boy here or uh, at least open her up here. 
All right, now, fits the guitar in here perfectly. Open up here. I've never, never opened, opened this up here. So, see, that's everything. So we're gonna we're gonna dive into this. Uh, there's the compartment right here. In case you don't know, there's a compartment that holds holds a bunch of stuff, and that stuff we're gonna we're gonna look at real quick. Um, okay, so we got Gibson warranty information. Has some signatures, yada yada. This is real cool. I like that Gibson does this. They include a picture of your guitar being set up. So there she is as a baby. Love it. Uh, we also have these Gibson leather straps. <coughs> Honestly, these are pretty badass. Um, I use them for like my AS335. I'm usually using uh, my friends over at franklinstrap.com. I'll link them down below as well, Franklin Strap. Um, but these are great leather straps, man. These these are cool. They're very comfortable. They're really great like backups for me. Um, but you know they could easily be like your main strap. Uh, we've got one of these thingies, uh, moisture things. Not gonna use it. Keys. I think there's two keys in here. Don't don't really want to open that up. But there's two keys, one or two keys at least to uh, to open up, lock up your case. And then here we've got like a goodie bag. So. Let's uh, gently go through this. I don't want to make a big mess, so I just kind of want to stuff it back in. All right. Oh, actually, oh, oh, wait a second. Okay, okay. All right, so we've got a Gibson multi-tool in this plastic thing. These things are awesome, by the way. I always have one in a case that I travel with, guys. These are awesome F truss rods, screwdrivers, um, I think there's a bottle opener here, uh, all sorts of Allen wrench sizes. This is like a Swiss guitar, Swiss army knife. Check that out. Blank um, truss rod cover. Uh, Gibson app advertising. Gibson owner's manual and Gibson uh, cleaning cloth. So that's, that's what comes with the guitar, guys. So on back to the video. Overall, it plays fantastic. In fact, it's probably one of the better playing guitars that I've I've had, like better playing Les Pauls. It plays like butter, man. Like I'm not gonna lie, like I could probably having this as as a recording guitar, probably not not a bad idea. Even live. Since it's a little, it's a little lighter. It is wicked. Okay, so overall, I do really like this guitar. If I had to rate it, I'd rate it maybe like eight, eight and a half, maybe nine ish, somewhere around that area. Um, I don't have a rating system. It's just based on me playing it, hearing how it sounds. It does sound good, um, and I attribute a lot of that to the Burst Bucker Pros. I think um, those are some of the best pickups on the market. Uh, they have like this this modern vintage feel to them. I, I don't know how to explain it, but you know I've played with a lot of pickups before, and these are just freaking awesome. So overall, guys, um, it's a really really cool guitar. If you want to check that out, like I said, check it out from our buddies over at Zounds. I hope you enjoyed this demo. And we'll get to a whole lot more, hopefully, you know, God willing. Take care. Have a very, very great Christmas season, holiday season coming up. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Please like, subscribe. See you later.